Okay, welcome back to some more Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. Oh, you got the keys. Thanks. Now, as I promised, I can take you to Route 9, which leads you to Waytide City. Should I take you to Route 9? Yes. Okay then, here we go. Here we are. If you want to go back to the docking port, just tell me. I will take you there. Okay. Route 9. Porta Rock. Um. Palmo. That has to be grass. Oh, TM 111 Battle Cry. Raises attack stat of any Pokemon on its side. Interesting. Crab Blue. Surfied. Okay. A couple of water types. The Way Tide Aquarium. Oh, leftovers.
a floatstone. What? Mark? Is that you? It is. Look at you, on your very own Pokemon journey. Mom and Dad actually let you out. Competing in gym battles. That's awesome. What? You already have five gym badges. You must be doing awesome. Is that Misty? Watch out, Wade. You might get beaten by your little sibling. What? I'm just kidding. Though, who knows? He might. Oh, it's you. Yeah, right. Mark, this is Misty. She's also a water-type gym leader. She's from the Kanto region. She's here for the Pokemon fishing contest. That's right. I also want to see all water-type Pokemon from the Rakoto region. Hmm. I have an idea. Misty, you should battle Mark so I can see your battling style. Well, okay. I'll battle, but only if you want to. Yes? Great. Let's go. Okay. Only three? It's gonna be nothing. Is this... Okay, I think it is water grass. Got the flinch. Confuse. Nice. What is a guppish? Okay. You're as talented as your brother. Wow. What a great battle. Wait. You've got trouble on your hands. That was a good battle. It's good to see how far you've come. I know. How about this? When you... When you will have won seven badges, I'll battle you. What a great way to have a battle, trying to win your eighth gym badge. Sounds good? Awesome. Now, I have to do some business with our aquarium. How about watching the fishing contest with Misty? That's a great idea. Mark, I'll show you how the fishing contest works. Okay then. We'll see you again. Bye. Follow me to the gateway over here. Or over there. Um, I'm not done exploring, so I'll follow you later. I don't think we actually explored the inside of the aquarium, so let's go do that real quick. What'd you say? Oh.
Oh, it's Victory Road. What? Okay, well, good to know. Alright, let's go watch the fishing contest. This is the fishing contest. Here, you can enter and you can enter and you'll receive 30 fishing balls. Then, once inside, you can find a spot to go fishing. Once you hook a Pokemon, you can try to catch it. The catch is that you're only allowed you're only allowed one Pokemon with you to battle with. Also, you can only have one Pokemon that you've caught. But you can catch others. You just have to decide whether or not to keep the Pokemon you've caught or replace it with a newly caught one. Once the contest is over, the trainer who has caught the best Pokemon will win a prize. You also get to keep the Pokemon that you've caught. Cool, right? By the way, for battling me, I have a little gift for you. Oh, it's an egg! You have no room to store the egg. <laughs> Make room for the egg in your party and I'll wait here. Okay. Um... For now, let's deposit Stegron. Temporarily. We'll pick up the egg, put it in the PC, and then we'll hatch it later. Give the fishing contest a try. I'm going to go back to the beach. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, I'll hatch this egg off screen. Oh, it's a cool looking egg. No, 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 I'm so confused. Oh, at the oh at the register. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I didn't. I... Okay, we'll just catch something in the grass. It's fine. We'll catch a grass encounter. It's fine. Oh, it's an, a quad. I'm assuming that's not going to be a good encounter. Hmm. I wonder what'll be a good encounter to win the contest. What is this? Oh, no? I haven't even caught anything yet. All right. Another a quad. Another a quad. Is that the only thing I'm going to find on land? Oh, Crablu. I don't think that would win the contest either. I'm looking for something rare. Probably not Weed Sea. Hmm. I think for now we'll catch the Crablu. Will you survive a flamethrower? You will. Okay, that'll be our temporary catch. Unless I find something better. Shrub sea. I don't know, dude.
Okay, well. Do I just lose now? I just, I just, <laughs> I just lose. Swimmer Abby with the Crabloo. Fisherman Ed with the Shrub Sea. Tuber Nick with an Aqu- What? No way, dude. You won with an Aqu- It's rigged. It has to be rigged. There's no way. Everyone else gets a Shed Shell as a consolation prize. This has to be rigged. There's no way he won with an Aquad. No, I'm not nicknaming the Cribaloo. Well. I'm leaving. I can't believe this. That has to be 100% rigged. Let me out of here. Give my mons back. Do I have my team back? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Now what? Uh, where do we go from here? This leads out to Victory Road, which we obviously can't go to yet. Is there another exit to this town? It's such a shame that I wasn't able to get a guppish in the fishing contest. I had some stones I could have used to get one of its evolutions. Are you by chance going to the fishing contest? Yes. I really want to see a guppish, but unfortunately my fishing rod is broken. Therefore, I cannot enter until I have a new rod. But you have some fishing rods, as I can see. If you could show me a guppish, I'll give you a great reward. Uh, yeah, sure. Can I enter the fishing contest again? I'm a big fan of water-type Pokemon. I've heard of a blue colored with claws. With its claws, it's able to learn the move Crab Hammer, one of my favorites. I can't remember its name. Uh, may you like to show it to me? I'm assuming he's talking about Crab Blue. But does it have to learn the move Crab Hammer? If so, I have to level it up probably, because I doubt it knows Crab Hammer right now. I could be wrong though. Yeah, I'll have to level it up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level up this Crab Blue until it learns Crab Hammer, hopefully. And then I need to go catch a Guppish? I need to catch a Guppish from the uh, from the fishing contest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, go do that. Okay, so we were unable to re-enter the fishing contest. I guess it was just like a one and done kind of situation. But we did hatch the egg that Misty gave us, and the egg ended up being a, uh, a guppish. So uh, yeah, I also leveled up the Krablu. It learned Crab Hammer, so we should be able to complete both of these quests. I have a guppish. I didn't catch it, but I have one. Wow, I never thought I would ever see one with my own eyes. It's adorable and has great potential in many ways. You know, there are Pokemon that can evolve through adaptation. I don't know why I blanked there. Uh, Pokemon that can evolve through adaptation and different requirements like Eevee. Thank you for showing me Guppish and for your reward. You can choose your choice of stone for Guppish, but choose wisely. Uh, leaf, Air, Dawn, and Cold. Oh wait, I'm gonna go Air Stone. I'm not gonna use it on the Guppish though, I'm gonna use it on my Nimblo. I'm pretty sure I saw that Nimblo evolved through Air Stone, so uh... Yeah, hold on. Yes, perfect. There we go, dude. Nimblo evolved into Cerebus. Fantastic. All right. Wow, this is it. It's a Crabloo. How could I forget its name? 
Thanks for showing me one of my favorite Pokemon. Here, take this as a reward. TM94 Rock Smash. Okay. Why would I care about a crab loop? I already have a... Uh, I don't know. Anyways. Cool. We completed both of those quests. Uh, now I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, we can try leaving. Maybe something will happen then. Leaving the town. Because there's nowhere to go from here except for Victory Road. And we can't go to Victory Road, so... Yeah, anyway. Team's looking good. Team is looking good. Alright. Oh, here we go. Oh, hey Mark. How are you? How is the fishing contest? Oh, I almost forgot. Professor Pinewood is here in Waytide City. He wanted me to find you because he has something important to tell us about those Team Solar and Team Lunar people. Hurry. He's at the aquarium. Rodney and Wade are there too. Come on and follow me. Okay. Mark, you've arrived. So, what do you have to tell us, Professor? I found some in I found some information about Team Solar and Team Lunar. Those are the crooks who stole that little girl's Pokemon. Yes, Kira. They're both different teams with the same goal, to take over the Rakoto region. How would they do that, though? It has something to do with the temples. Correct. Both teams are trying to gather the five elemental stones in order to open a portal to where Solaran and Lunaro sleep. Solaran. Lunaro. Legend has it that the five elemental Pokemon, Pterodon, Tigacore, Siren, Sirine, Tornadowl, that's a cool name, Tornadowl, and Aethera, Aethera, use their powers to seal away these Pokemon in another dimension to end the war between them. Why was there a war between them? Both Pokemon were born from an eclipse. They are the same Pokemon in a sense. Solaron was born from the light of the eclipse, and Lunaro was born from the shadow of the eclipse. So they're like twins. Exactly. So, Team Solar and Team Lunar are both gathering these stones to set them free? Yes. Although these stones aren't the only thing they're searching for, they also need to find the Sun Crystal and the Moon Crystal. Without them, Solaran and Lanaro won't be controlled and will cause devastation across the region. Intense. But both teams already have a stone each, and Mark has the Core Stone. So that means there's still two more stones out there. Yes, I don't know how these teams plan to work, I don't know how these teams' plans will work. I mean, all five stones need to be together for it to work, and if they're all separated, it won't work. Which is why I think they have backup plans. These teams are dangerous and will do anything to get control of the Rakoto region. We won't let them get the stones, right guys? Right. I knew you three were a good choice for the Pokedex. But please be careful. I know you can handle yourselves. You have come so far. Mark, you must protect that stone from these teams. And you must not let them know you have it. We'll help, Mark. Definitely. I trust you will. Oh, Professor. Wasn't there something you wanted to give these three? Oh, that's right. I want to give you these surfboards. Oh, nice. This will allow you to surf along water and get to places you couldn't before. Well, kids, I must go. I have some research to do in Goo Pool Swamp. Good luck, trainers, and please be careful. Right. Guys, you know how it goes for this gym battle. Once all three of you have seven badges, I'll battle you. 
But for now, I gotta get back to the gym. See you guys. I know we can do this, Mark and Rodney. Team Solar and Team Lunar won't win. So pumped. I'm gonna go train. I'll see you guys around. Kira's right. As long as we stick together, they won't win. You should go to Goo Pool Swamp. It's in the eastern area of Route 9. Okay. Cool. Well, now we can surf. Should I check the surrounding area? See if there's any, uh... Are any items around here? No, not here. I thought, thought she might have wanted a battle. Guess not. Orphan. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, Mark, you made it. The surfboard we got from the professor is so useful. So this is the entrance to Goo Pool Swamp. It's said to be a very mysterious area. You should be well trained if you want to go there. If you want to go there. So how about a battle? I've trained hard and reached five badges too. So this will not be that easy. I'll definitely beat you. Good crit. If I could just survive one attack. Should I go for Bulldoze? It is super effective. Yeah. Or plus four. On. Nice. I uh, do not want to learn reversal. Blood sore. Survive? Okay, I thought I would finish. That's unfortunate. Oh, you want to learn Volt Switch? Uh, yes, please. Oh, you have your own terrible. Wait, what? When did that happen? Um...
Perio is evolving. Perfect. Perio evolved into Flayro? Flayro. Okay. Oh no, you beat me once again. Never mind. Let me heal your Pokemon. So, by the way, have you seen the rocks on the beach? You're able to smash them with Move Rock Smash. But there's also another way. You can use a hammer. I bought one for me, but I thought it could also be a good help for you and Kira. So you can take it. Okay, cool. The smashable rocks appear all over the region. I've heard you can sometimes find in an item in it. How cool is that? So, now I'm heading to Goo Pool Swamp. I think you're ready for this area too. See you around, Mark. Okay. Bring it on, punk. Okay. It's grass dark. Oh, it has arena trap. Well, that's not good. We're not weak to grass, though. It's neutral. Yeah, we're fine. Slibu. That could be water. I'm gonna... Sleep powder. Why? What typing are you? Oh, grass? Wait, what? I don't know that typing. I thought it could have been bug. Guess not. But I have to, oh, I have to surf on that. Okay. Spider attack. Oak Oak larva. Bug water. Oh wait, if that's bug water, I need to catch that. Because we still need to find a bug water type for the quest. TM36 Sludge Bomb. That's a really good move. Can anybody learn that? Um, no. Toxodon. Went for Steamroller. Mm -hmm. 
Stegron is evolving. Oh, that is so cool. Stegron evolved into Stegasteel. That is so cool. Look at him. Awesome. All right. I think our team is fully evolved now, which is awesome. Purple. What? Okay. Hollow Seed. You're gonna burn me? Okay, that was just unnecessary. I don't know why you would do that. Flash. Is that grass? Grass water? It's not. Toxic. Oh, that looks sick! Skella Deep. I would assume that's ghost? Ghost water? Or dark. It could also be dark. I guess we can test it. No, it's definitely ghost.
What was that? <laughs> oh my god. Did you hear our cries? We were just looking in the graveyard for something special. But then a creepy man appeared out of nowhere. What? You mean he could be a ghost? Stop joking. Ghosts don't exist. We should go back. Commander Scarlet sure isn't happy with us running away because of the this ghostly guy. Hmm. You look really familiar. Isn't this the kid who battled us in Dolfern Forest in front of the eyes of Commander Scarlet? Ah, you're right. Because of you, our commander was really angry about us. Mercifully, she didn't tell Leader Derek. This must be fate. We had to battle you again. And your time has come. Okay. Dude, those screams, though. Wow. Terra Terror and Widox. Okay. Two bugs. Let's go... I need to switch stick it out. Got the double burn. Unbelievable. Not again. We lost again. Luckily, Commander Scarlet wasn't here to see our defeat. I've seen enough to tell you... I've seen enough to tell you fools that you failed again. Commander Scarlet, I'm sorry for running away. Please forgive me, Commander, but this creepy man was so scary. <laughs> Scared? What has come over you? How will you survive in Team Lunar's world of chaos if you're scared by, ghost by a ghostly guy? We're so sorry, Commander Scarlet. You two are hopeless. You can consider yourself lucky that I will still... That I, will be, that I will still be your commander in our new world. But in addition to running away, you two lost to this twerp again. It seems you're chasing us. You really like to place yourself in danger. It's time for a lesson. I've waited for this after our first battle. Goons, out of my way. This twerp is mine. Okay. Ban Shriek. Okay. Went down in one hit. Wasn't expecting that. Another Terra Terror. Is this bug dark? It is. That did nothing. I was expecting a little more damage. Oh well. We'll be fine. Don't heal? Perfect. Aqua Ring. Uh, no. You're getting on my nerves, Twerp. Annoying. It's just one loss. You won't be able to stop our, stop our plans, Twerp. Goons, we're leaving. I'm sure we won't find... I'm sure we won't find here what we came for. Remember my words. In Team Looter's world, 
You have to obey what I'm saying. What? Okay. TM30 Shadow Ball. Very nice. A rare bone. Cool. Where's the ghostly guy? Oh, there he is. You have a pure heart. The gravestones. One is yours. Oh, really? I'm assuming these are... Um, water, electric, fire, maybe? Oh, what's that? A spell tag. All right. Um, do you choose this gravestone? I saved, right? Oh, I have to battle. Grow. That looks cool. Um. Okay, it's probably grass. What? I would imagine grass ghost. It's probably grass ghost, water ghost, and fire ghost. Nice. Legends say that Scro were abandoned scarecrows inhabited by lost souls. They found new purpose in protecting crops from bird Pokemon. Wow, okay. Alright, not bad. I think I'll take that. Nothing happens and nothing yeah, I'm assuming it was just like water go or grass ghost, a water ghost, and then a fire ghost. Here, rest, here rests in peace Jim, beloved son and brother. Agnes, beloved daughter and sister. John, beloved son and brother. Aurora, beloved daughter and sister. Jack, beloved son and brother. Amira, beloved daughter and sister. Okay. Ari... Aurelia, beloved mother and wife. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there's encounters in the building? Snoozy. Interesting. Alright, let's continue forward. What is that? Swamp Heap? Oh my god. <laughs> that thing is horrifying.
sturdy. There's no need to hop that ledge. <laughs> 